Hello everybody. Thanks for joining me again. I'm at Berryhead this morning. Just come up here for sunrise just before six o'clock. Another glorious day. Just seen a few dolphins go by in the distance and a young peregrine falcon just flew past just below my feet here around the headland. So I'm going to keep my eyes open. Got the camera out and we'll see what we can find this morning. Well, of course I could have made this video from home, but what a glorious day. And those of you who are not the least interested in the website and what I'm waffling on about, at least you've got this view. Well, while I'm waiting for the wildlife, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about uh, having your own photography website. I decided quite early on when I started taking photographs, I wanted to share them. And of course, did that on social media, on Facebook and Instagram and Flickr as well. But uh, decided I wanted my own website um, somewhere where people could go and buy my photographs. So there's a few choices. Um, I use SmugMug. There's another one called Squarespace that you'll see a lot of YouTube photographers advertising. And there's lots of other different ways of having a website or um, excuse me, dolphins. Sorry about that, I had to uh, just stop and film those dolphins while the opportunity was there. Um, where was I? I think I was talking about websites, wasn't I? So really what I wanted to say was, um, is it worth it? So I pay £220 a year roughly um, for the website I use on SmugMug. It's quite easy to use, upload your photographs and uh, you can make a quite good looking site quite easily. And I've had uh, people comment that uh, it looks good uh, and they're impressed with my work. However, if you're uh, thinking you're going to sell lots of prints very quickly, then think again. Um, most photographers will tell you um, that it's very difficult to sell prints these, day these days. Social media means that there's lots of photographs out there every day from everybody, from your friends, from good photographers. So why would someone want to buy your print, basically. Well, in, in short, they don't. <laughs> so in the two years I've had my website, I think I've sold uh, three prints and they've all been to family and friends. So monetary wise, is it worth it? No, of course not. Um, I think one thing to bear in mind is it's all about marketing. If you want to sell your work, you've got to market it. Then the website, although it's a point of reference where people can go, it's not going to advertise itself. So you have to do that. And I must admit, when I link uh, the website to Facebook or Instagram, then I obviously get more hits on the website. So one thing I am going to do is do a bit more of that. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to reduce the number of uh, photographs that are on the website. At the moment, I haven't counted them, but uh, I think there's far too many. And when you go there, it's quite confusing and too much choice. You know, if you go into a restaurant and the menu's too big, I find it really difficult to choose what I'm going to eat. So I think uh, what I'm going to do is reduce the number of uh, photographs available. Sorry if there's a few cuts in the video. People keep coming past and wanting to talk to me and ask what I'm doing with the camera and what I'm photographing. 
anyway yes I was saying I'm going to reduce the number of photographs available on the website so I think I'm getting a little bit better at photography so I think what I'm going to do is uh, go through the photographs and uh, just leave the ones that I think best represent what I'm about and uh, what I photograph so I'll be doing this by the end of August so if there's anything on the website you think you might like a print of go and do it before the end of August Sorry, I just had to stop again. Some more dolphins going past, but this time I tried to get some photographs. So, where was I again? Oh, let's just go and have a look at the website, shall we? And then discuss it there. Okay, so let's have a quick look at my website. So Smug Mug lets you choose different templates, and this is the one I've chosen. Gives you a nice band of photographs just showcasing my work on the first page and I've kept it simple by just having a logo at the top and some buttons underneath that let you search or browse or look for other information about me or my gear. So if you want to look at photographs you click on the browse button and are given different galleries. If I choose wildlife it then goes to the photographs and goes straight into showing them quite large on the screen. And then if you're interested in buying any of them, let's have a look at these nice little lambs. You click on the buy button and you can choose from downloads or paper prints, etc. And then you choose the size you want. Let's go for a huge size shall we let's go for a 30 by 20 inch I'll have it glossy and uh, that's the photograph you'll get and for a photograph of that size it's 45 pounds of course you can have smaller 30 by 20 inches is quite a large print anyway you get the idea but the problem I've got with it, I think, is it's just far difficult to see all the photographs all at once because there's just far too many. If I go onto landscapes, as you can see, I'm going through a lot of black and white images first, then some colour ones. And I think you'll get fed up before you've found an image you might like. So, I'm going to simplify it. Just before I leave the page, of course, websites aren't just for selling photographs. It's a point of reference that you can come and see why I take photographs. So there's a little bit about me. There's also a page about my gear and how I take photographs. And you can also contact me from the website. Let's just go to the home page again. And of course, if I was wanted to sell other services like uh, photography walks then I could add them to the website as well okay let's see what else is available so as mentioned before a lot of the online YouTube photographers are sponsored by Squarespace and they offer a similar service when it comes to websites as Smug Mug where you can set up different templates depending on uh, what your interests are as you can see if you're a local business or like me you've got a portfolio of photographs but when it comes to printing and uh, selling your photographs you do that yourselves but you can uh, have the ordering hosted by Squarespace.
And the last site I'll mention is Etsy. Lots of people use Etsy to sell their arts and crafts. My daughter is one of them. Seems to work very well. And I believe you pay by purchase. So if someone purchases a item, you only pay Etsy a small amount each time you sell something. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, this is one of the sites I may be trying out in the future. Okay, back to Berry Head. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video there. Hopefully I've given you something to think about if you're thinking of having a uh, photography website of your own. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It costs nothing. And hopefully I'll see you all again next week. But for now, cheerio.